we want to take the derivative of y equals 6x to the minus 3 halves plus 7x to the 1 fifth plus 1. These are already set up like power functions, so we can go right into applying our power rule. So we have 6, bring, now we'll bring the power down. So times negative 3 halves, x decrease the power by 1. So if we're decreasing 3 halves by 1, well, remember 1 is 2 halves, so it's basically negative 3 halves minus 2 halves for a negative 5 halves plus 7. Now bring the power down, 1 fifth x. Now it's 1 fifth minus 1, or 1 fifth minus 5 fifths, which is negative 4 fifths. And then the derivative of 1 by itself is 0, as it's not a multiplied by a variable. Um, we'll get rid of the negative exponents, but because these were already fractional exponents, we'll just leave them that way. We can do a little bit of simplifying here. You know that 6 and the 2 will cancel, and so out front we end up with this one will be a negative 9. That'll be a numerator. And instead of writing it with a negative exponent, we'll write that as x to the 5 halves in the denominator. And then plus... Now, that's, we have 7 fifths. The 7 will stay in the numerator. The 5 will come in the denominator, as will x to the 4 fifths because of this negative exponent. Remember, the negative exponent means we take the reciprocal. So to make that positive, we'll put it in to the denominator. Now, um, it, this would be fine for a final answer, but if you want to see what this looks like with radicals, um, we're going to have negative 9 over... We're dividing uh, by 2 in the, in the exponents. That's a square root. So this would be square root of x to the fifth. Or the fifth could actually go out here. The order um, doesn't matter because it's basically multiplication. We multiply them by 5, or raise it to the fifth, or to the 1 half first. Um, we can go in either order. Now here we're going to have 7 over 5. Now this gives us a fifth root. So a fifth root of x to the fourth. So if you wanted it written with radicals, it would look like that.